Hello, welcome. In today's video, I will be using the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana Palette. Um, since it's my no buy year, <laughs> I'm working through doing a video with each palette that I have in my beauty capsule. And today we'll be focusing on this one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the shades. Then I'll create an eye look using this palette and as always I will insert at the end of the video um, eyeshadow looks that I have created using this palette. It's sacred and it's a matte, familiar, is a shimmer, shroud is a matte, and alchemy is a shimmer. And your formula is drier, even the shimmer, at least um, in this palette. Sacred, familiar, shroud, alchemy. Chalice is a shimmer. Entity is a matte, nocturnal is a shimmer, relic is a matte, chalice, entity, is that, I think my hand, my finger. <laughs> Oily from wiping it off. I'll try again. Entity. It's a mustardy shade. Blends into my skin tone. Um, nocturnal and relic. Alter. Is a matte. Enchantress is a shimmer. Darkling is a matte. And Mystic is a shimmer. Altar. Enchantress. Darkling. Mystic. Beautiful. Rich. Tones. Jewel tones, I would say. Primed my lids already with um, concealer and setting powder.
this is it for the look I think I'll just stop here I really like how this one turned out uh, nocturnal and relic are the only two shadows I used for this look nocturnal is one of my favorite shades in this uh, palette I think I'm going to also something else to note um, relic looks lighter in the pen but applies deeper at least on my skin tone looks deeper and much grayer on my skin tone which um, I'm not complaining about I actually like how it looks I think I'm going to use something else for my inner corner highlight I thought about using familiar but it's it's warmer tone than I want for this look I want something cooler so that is it just use these two I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara and brows and I'll be back this is the final look I really love this eye look the cool tone grungy feel of this whole look um, used again the Akana palette from shroud cosmetics shades nocturnal and relic this is the whole palette this is the swatch of the palette so use these two shades if you notice I don't know if you can see the shimmers I call them shimmers they maybe this one the chalice yeah the shade chalice um, looks much more vibrant maybe metallic but most of the shimmers are um, shimmer satin ish maybe because they're on the drier side but I do like this palette and what it offers and there are times when I don't want bold shimmery eye look I just want something that catches the light just a little bit something perhaps muted so that's the cool thing about having so much um, eyeshadow options when I'm feeling like a certain mood I know which eyeshadow to pick up and use or which palette to pick up and use and this is what I'm going for what I'm feeling today I wasn't thinking these two shades but I opened up the palette and decided those two shades could tone so I continued on the cool tone for the whole look I really love this look um, for the inner corner I used the Fenty kilowatt dual the highlighter and this one in mint mojito I used this one for the inner corner lightens up the look but still in a cool tone family my eyeliner I used the Hindash hero line eyeliner mascara I used the Isamea rubber lash mascara and while we're on Isamea that's what I'm wearing on my lips I'm wearing the lip lac um, by Isamea keeping it dark toned <laughs> grungy looking and I really I love this look I haven't working through my other palettes trying to get through my personal project of using every shadow at least once I've gone a long time without using this one and I really missed it um, when I say missed it, I meant while using the while going through my project, this is one of the palettes that during that project, which I'm still going through, I thought, oh, I should use this palette. And I just haven't gotten around to using it. And today I decided I'm gonna pull it out and use it 
since I'm also working through doing a video with all my palettes at least once so one of the other palettes that I'm thinking I've been thinking of going back to use is the subliminal by Pat McGrath the cool tone one um, the Isamea industrial palette I've, yeah I've thought about that but this is the eye look the lips for my face oh before I applied the Isamea um, lip black while I was getting ready doing my base, I applied the Olivia Palermo Lychee Lip Balm. And then for my spot concealing and under eye, just overall base, I used my LYS Concealer in DN3. Used my two Kosas Concealer. This one is 08 and this one is 8.2. 08. Um, I don't know if you can see it's getting um, to the end of it and also I notice it's much drier when I apply it but I think I have a few more uses I'll keep using it till I can't get anything out of it but I can see a lot of space and window through it and then 8.2 for setting my face I used um, the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder in yellow it broke so I crushed it up and I put it in this jar I used it on my lids and all over my face and then something else I used just on my lids and underneath my under my eyes are these two powders from the hourglass elephant palette those two powders are dim light and soft light so dim light and soft light and I blended both and just applied on top of the Pat McGrath powder before applying the shadows and then for my highlighter, here and here, I'm using the 100% Pure Jammed, Jammed Highlighter in Copper Gold. This is what it looks like, and it opens up like that. Um, there's a dip in it. It has an imprint that says Pure with a flower, and I've worn it down. That's a uh, Part of the P in it but I haven't used this one in a while so I was like let's pull this one out and use it I am not wearing a bronzer but a, a blush that I'm wearing is Suku melting powder blush in 08 and this is what this one looks like it just fell out of the pan Thankfully, the whole thing was intact except for this part, so I placed it back and I pressed it in all of them. But the whole thing just fell out. This is the first one that's ever done that. I own three of these, and this is the first one that has ever done that, so I'm going to hold it this way. But this is the Melton Powder Blush in 08. This blush I can use as a, I guess, bronzer, <laughs> blush bronzer, and that's what I used. Um, on my cheeks today. I used it here and here to bronze and also blush. Viseat Petite Matte Cool. Part of the blush got on it. <laughs> the Suku blush. I used the shade Gardelli as my brow powder. And then used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, clear brow gel to set my brows set my whole face with the Olivia Palermo pre show mattifying mist and I think that's it for the whole look for the tools I used for this look let's see 
think this is all of it. My Sonia Kashuk Buffing Blender. I used it to um, blend in the concealer under my eyes and on my lids. Use the Spectrum and Kitty Jane Hughes 02. Use this for the powder for the and for the bronzer blush, the Suku blush in 08. I use the unit 305 for my highlighter. Use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow brush. I think this is number 12. I've had this a very a very very long time, maybe eight eight or so years, a long time, um, and all the writings on it have uh, rubbed off. But that's the brow brush that I use. I use the BK Beauty Two Ten Unit Brush. 203 and Spectrum and Kitty Jane Hughes brush number 15 and that is it that's the whole look really enjoying this look <laughs> this makes me excited to wear makeup <laughs> sometimes you put on makeup for the excitement and sometimes you put on the makeup although excited you're you get more excited because how the makeup turned out. Um, but I've been in a cool tone vibe lately. But that is it. If you like this video, like this look, like this type of video, please give this video a thumbs up. And while you're here, please subscribe. I would like to have you here. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.